back to another video. I'm Mandy. Lloyd's currently inside just paying our bill. Today we are leaving Ubud and we are heading to Seminyak for the night. Just spent the last two nights at an eco cot staying in an eco cottage, which was pretty awesome. If you haven't seen the video yet, we'll link it above. Definitely check that out. But we are just leaving at the moment. We are heading to Seminyak. We are staying at a beautiful villa. We've been very lucky to be invited there and um, checking out an eco spa today as well. We've got about an hour and 15 minute drive from Ubud to Seminyak. in Seminyak. We had quite an experience getting here. It took us two hours to get here. I ran out of data on my phone yesterday, so you can still use maps, but it just doesn't like tell you if you've made a mistake. Or if you drive the wrong way, it just goes silent. So when you're driving on a scooter, busy roads, uh, it's easy to get lost. So we went probably half an hour in the wrong direction. Yep, and then had to turn around and come back. So we were pretty late. And we also had something to eat before coming here and it took about an hour to get something to eat. To get a Nazi goring. So we're really f***ed up and we're really late today. <laughs> Flustered. Yes, but that's okay. We've just arrived at Eco Bali Spa. Um, they've been kind enough to invite us here and we're both getting pampered today. So after a very stressful morning, we get to bring it down a bit and they're I'm gonna get, take good care of us. I'm getting a massage and a facial, which I've never had. Mandy convinced me to get a facial. Yeah. yeah and a pedicure <laughs> which I've never had. I made him go the full experience this time. Uh, I think he's gonna love it. We'll let you know. The spa looks beautiful. We'll take you in, show you around, um, then we're gonna relax and enjoy ourselves and then we're going to check in to our villa after we finish up here. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Oh my god, my skin has never felt this good before. My toes look amazing after being barefoot for six months. Same. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, Lloyd got his first ever pedicure and first ever facial. Very, very proud of him. This is why I love him because he always tries new things with me, even if it's uncomfortable for him. But nah, beautiful right. spa. Really nice way to spend a day as a couple. We highly recommend it. We'll leave it in the description if you're interested in coming here. Uh, and it's actually just around the corner from where we're staying, which is super handy. Uh, so we're gonna head there now.
amazing. My nails look amazing. I'm so grateful that we get to spend the day at the spa. I'm very grateful that Lloyd did it with me. I laughed a lot because he was there and I really enjoyed having his presence there. Uh, so thank you to Eco Bali Spa for having us. The staff were absolutely amazing there. I used to be a beauty therapist. I don't know if I've shared this on our channel. Um, that was my trade way before we started doing e-commerce. And so I'm a bit picky with massages and spas and that type of thing. I do pick them apart quite a little bit. Not trying to do it in a negative way, but it just I just notice things. And it was so clean in there. The staff were so well trained, like just so methodical in how they did everything. So just thought I'd put that out there. So now we're all ready. We're ready for dinner. Sun's setting. We're gonna head down to La Plancha and have a drink. I haven't mentioned that we found this place because it is also Australian owned as well as the neighbor so they actually are friends and they rent out their places together so this would be a really good setup the the neighbor's place is very similar layout to this one here but it's actually three bedroom whereas this place is two so if you were wanting to come maybe for a hens or maybe a wedding or something like that this would be a really good location to do that and at the moment Seminyak is popping off we want to go see what's happening with um, La Plancha uh, in comparison to when we first got here Lloyd and I actually did come into Seminyak for one night oh <laughs> Lloyd and I actually did come into Seminyak for one night and we did head down this way but it wasn't that busy it was still a little bit a little bit going on so we're just really curious to see what's happening so we're gonna head down there now so one of the beauties actually about staying at this place is it's super close to the beach and there's a shortcut through so we're just walking there now and it takes you right to La Plancha experience Bali a little bit more like it usually is before we leave to Thailand um, yeah. all the restaurants are full shit's going off yeah definitely recommend coming to Seminyak finally happy that we can say that <laughs> yeah but there's a hell of a lot of traffic yes oh it's my god the downside. they need to figure it out if you're on a scooter it's okay you can weave in between the traffic but um I wouldn't want to drive a car around Seminyak or Bali in general. In no, moment. definitely take a scooter. It might just be the transition from before when everyone was just hopping in Gojex uh, before obviously everything was open and it was really dead. So hopefully everyone figures out just to get on a scooter because the traffic is so bad. Uh, but yeah, Seminyak is open, things are happening, everything's hopefully getting back to normal. Get your butts over here. Oh, we just woke up. In paradise, I'm so quiet here last night. You have any ears? Yeah. No, can't hear the motorbikes, and you're so close to like where everything's happening, but it's so quiet. Woke up really early though, as <laughs> usual. Which yeah. one shitty thing about that is it's hard to find something to eat for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Well, we found some breakfast burritos, and we're getting them delivered right now. One downside of this area, I think, at the moment, just because everything's like slowly opening is that there's not many restaurants or maybe it's just because it's early in the morning but um not much food options close by not as much Gojek. as changu for gojek yeah in the morning yeah not sure about later on but um yeah last night was awesome so happy to see everything so busy again happy that we got to experience like bali a little bit more what it usually is i know it's not quite at that level yet but um in comparison to when we first got here it's like much more is happening and um, it's just really nice to see all those businesses thriving again. We're just gonna have our breakfast and chill out for a little while before we head off to, are we are we staying tonight? We haven't booked anywhere. Oh, okay. We don't know where we're living tonight. <laughs> 
So we gotta figure that out as well this morning and we have a lot of editing to do so it's gonna be a lot of work for the next couple days before we head off to Thailand but hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to stay here or visit the spa that we visited, check the link in the description. Um, Seminyak's happening. If you've been thinking about coming, highly recommend it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye!